Hi. Um, uh, this is a question for both of you. Uh, since uh, most of the franchise, uh, like so, uh, since a big part of it has been to sell toys, uh, do you ever feel any pressure from Hasbro or, or any of the uh, other higher ups that sometimes maybe your writing has gone a little too dark or too far? Or? Um, well, I'll, I'll, I, I had to deal with that all the time because uh, we were putting out the comic book. The comic book was basically a vehicle to sell toys, like, you know, to promote the toys. And, um, and so once Transformers took off, and every few months Hasbro was rolling out a new line of 15, 20, 30 toys, uh, there was pressure to introduce them somehow into the comic book. And it was really uh, uh, probably the prime reason why I finally quit the comic. I was trying to quit the comic for a year or so before I finally got out of there. Because it was just too much, uh, it, it, it interrupted the flow of my, my creative streams. You know, I was developing certain characters, then I'd have to find a way to shut the, you know, shuttle them aside and introduce all these new guys. And so it became a, uh, kind of a, a burden to, to have to continually reinvent this book that I was you know, trying to give some kind of continuity to. And, um, but you know, they, weren't, they weren't mean about it, but I understood, I understood the rules. You know, we were there to promote the, promote the toys. Well, Bob just nailed down the big problem with the Marvel Action Hour. The producer, Avi Arad, who was the first to honor Stan Lee's uh, vision for Spider-Man and a lot of other Marvel creations, uh, wanted to get as many toys as he possibly could into every episode of the uh, Marvel Action Hour. I was given a list of Marvel characters, and I have the Marvel uh, encyclopedia of characters that's this thick. There are 3,000 of them when I stopped doing it. and. Avi wanted 26, 28 toys, characters, on every 22-minute episode. That's ridiculous. That's like being at a wedding where you don't know anybody, you know? Nobody, and they all move past you and nod. Who the hell was that? I don't know. What is this one? This is who? Whirlwind? I never heard of Whirlwind. What's he? Psh, too late, he's gone. Who is this? The Mandarin. The Mandarin. That's an orange. What am I doing with this? Who are <laughs> So the shows, to me, became like a roll call. You know, Mandarin, Iron Man, Uncle Charlie, just one after the other. It was uh, impossible to juggle. And that's where Bob was, where you've got to keep incorporating the new toy. I don't know if any of those toys sold, but one of the problems was that Avi Arad was a partner in Toy Biz that had manufactured all the X-Men toys and also just about everything else, G.I. Joe as well. So the whole idea was show the kid the toy and the character and the kid will buy the toy. It didn't work because it was just overpopulated. Thank you.